Good morning everyone. Welcome to the fourth session of chapter 7, One Friday Morning. Today, I am going to discuss creative writing of lesson 1 Friday morning. So, open your books at page 55. The main objective is that you will be able to put the following incidents in the chronological order and frame the summary. Chronological order means arranging the events in order of their occurrence. Now let's read. Read the story one Friday morning again and number the following sentences in correct order. Join the sentences and write a summary of the story in your notebook. Students, I hope you have read one Friday morning again. Okay, now let's read these incidents. Her short speech was ready and she went over it in her mind. The elderly white woman shook her hand warmly. Nancy went to sleep dreaming of a wonderful tomorrow. The wise principal wanted Nancy to be calm while delivering her acceptance speech. Nancy tried to smile but instead tears came to her eyes. The committee changed their plans as they learned that she was colored. Miss Dietrich informed Nancy that she had won the Artist Club Award. The vice principal felt sorry about giving the message to Nancy. To solve this exercise, we will refresh the summary of the chapter one Friday morning. Now students, as you all remember, Nancy Lee was an excellent student. Miss Dietrich told her that her picture had won the Artist Club Award. On hearing this news, Nancy Lee tried to smile, but tears rolled down her eyes. Now students, as you have heard the summary that I have told, let's mark the events in the sequence. Miss Dietrich informed Nancy that she had won the Artist Club Award. Now according to the summary, this sentence comes first in the sequence, so we will mark it number 1. Now after that, Nancy Lee's reaction was that she wanted to smile but tears came to her eyes. So Nancy tried to smile but instead tears came to her eyes. This is a second incident after this. So we will mark it number two. I'm going to continue the summary, listen to it carefully and put the sentences in chronological order as I have done for you. The vice principal, Miss Oshi, congratulated Nancy Lee and shook her hand warmly. She also told Nancy Lee to prepare an acceptance speech but she also wanted her to be calm while delivering her speech. The night before Friday morning, she went to bed thinking about the speech she had prepared. Then she went to sleep dreaming of the wonderful tomorrow. At the school on Friday morning, Nancy Lee was called into the vice principal's office the second time. Miss O'Shea told her that the committee had changed the mind and denied her the award as she was colored. The vice principal felt sorry to give this message to Nancy Lee. Miss O'Shea encouraged Nancy Lee and told her to lift her head and smile. Nancy Lee did the same. Nancy Lee thought to herself that there would be more opportunities for her in the future. She also promised herself that she would fight against the racial discrimination so that 
such things did not happen to any other child like her. Now students, I hope you have put the sentences in the correct order. Now, on the basis of the correct order of the sentences, join the sentences and write a summary of the story in your own words, in your copy. I hope you have understood the topic well. Read the chapter again for better understanding and follow your SNAP homework schedule. Thank you everyone.